One of the most popular shows here on CBS is The Mentalist, right? The main character is a psychic who tracks down criminals. Yeah, and this morning, Roby introduces us to a different kind of mentalist. He's a local guy, <laughs> not a crime fighter, but definitely quite the entertainer. Isn't that right, Roby? Yes, well, Chris, you know, being a journalist, I am highly <laughs> skeptical and a highly cynical person. So when I was invited to interview The Mentalist, Christopher Grace, I was prepared to poke holes through any trick he did. But I came away from it bewildered and amazed. I traveled to the Boston Center for the Arts in the South End for this week's Roby on the Road. Pick a card, any card. Call stop? Stop. All right, can you take that card? Don't let me see it. Very important. Got it? I got it, but I'll let you see it. The Jack of Spades. Hide the card in the deck. It's right there. Yep. Just stick the card Close in. Close your eyes. Sorry, sorry, I'll look away. Hide the card in the deck, make sure I can't see it. Okay. Good. Now you can take the deck, put it under the table. I was wondering if Christopher Grace had something up his sleeve. Sure enough, he rolled it up, saying we needed direct contact. So grab my wrist right there. Squeeze really hard. I wanna reach out and grab you. So focus on uh, what color card it is red card or black card? Black card, yes. He says the squeezing gives things away. Ten, Jack, Queen, King. Now, you kind of squeezed a little bit on Queen. I think you were throwing me off a little bit. Just when I thought I had steered him the wrong way. But it's, in fact, the Jack of Spades. <laughs> it's the Jack of Spades. Then, the shocker. Oh. You left me a bruise, Roby. <laughs> a black and blue, the letter J, and the symbol for spades. What manner of sorcery is this? A mentalist is basically a magician of the mind. He doesn't mind walking on glass, and he performs tricks like lighting up a bulb in someone's hand. Chris was fascinated by magic at an early age, reading everything he could about it, then putting on shows for family and friends in his native Quincy Mass. Not necessarily like the class clown. It was like the, the kind of odd kid that can do a little bit of weird magic. We followed Christopher to Boston South End. He wanted to roll out some magic at a local bakery. So I want to show you guys some tricks. The Spenson family had already made some scones disappear. Now they wanted to see what Christopher could do. He had Sarah pick a coin out of a pile from the South End Buttery's cash register, then squeeze it as hard as she could. In a moment, you'll feel the coin in your hand actually start to get warm. I know it might be a little weird, but you'll feel it get a little bit warm and start heating up in your hands. So warm that... See it? Oh, my God. Look, 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 look. Not only did smoke pour out of Sarah's hand, the quarter was bent. Yeah, it's amazing. So what do you think? I think it was amazing. <laughs> Were you trying to figure it out? Yes, and I have no idea how he did anything. It was awesome. So the card trick was about a half hour ago. Let me see your wrist now. You don't see. believe me? Let's see if it's still on there. Oh, come on. I told you, it's a bruise. Wow. It's not, it doesn't wipe off. Did you check his arm before you put your hand on it? Uh, no, I didn't really check anything. He did, <laughs> I'm still stunned. Like, I showed you the piece yesterday, and you were like, what? Right? Yeah. Crazy, Roby. Magic or trickery, whatever it is, he's really good at it. I don't even want to figure it out. It's right. very, very entertaining. So he's got three shows coming up at the Boston Center for the Arts. We will have a link on cbsboston.com, and you can go so there cool. if you want to check it out. So cool. Now, did Mom have, did her hand hurt after the smoking? You no, know, it didn't, but burn? boy, that family from Weston, they were They're in freaked shock. Out. <laughs> we, just, we just showed up. Just I just scum, went in there with him. You know? There was no, you know... Awesome. Any planning, planning or anything, no. I like how you tried to throw him off, too, yeah. with the card trick. That was he good. knew right away. <laughs> that, that creeped me out that he knew that I was trying to trick him. So, Awesome story, Ruby. Love Thank it. You.